this is Vic, and I am doing a foray into the brand new world of Let's Plays. So this is Minecraft 1.13, and I just spawned, and I'm starting by punching a tree, just like everybody does. So I figured I might as well actually use my YouTube, and I wanted to build something. No world edit, no voxel sniper, no creative mode, just, yep. You see it right there, a wooden pickaxe. Building the shelter, just get right back to basics. I uh, play on survival mode on my server that I play on, but there even, I still even have these really nice enchanted diamond tools. It's easy, it's gotten almost too simple, so. <laughs> oh, gotta grab some sand for windows. Gotta start working on food. Nearby jungle conveniently provides melon, so I am not complaining about that. And there's some nearby meat. Though a wooden sword requires a lot of work to kill it. And it laid an egg right when it died. All right, grabbing a little more wood before bedtime. You can never have too much wood early in the game. Or late in the game. Or any time at all. Alright, so my windows have no glass, so might as well plug them with dirt. And while I'm at it, get some cobblestone for a furnace. Then I can make some charcoal torches. While I'm digging, might as well keep digging. See if I can find something good. Like coal! First ore of the game. Yay. Let's dig out this coal. See what else we got. More coal. Keeps getting better. Rats. All right. So with our coal, we were able to smelt the sand into glass. So now we have windows. And can see that it's morning. So we very cautiously proceed outside. Look both ways. Make sure there's no friends. Oh, there's a friend. Sorry, friend. I have to kill you. Or you'll kill me. Uh, at least there was only one. Ah! Oh. Well, that was bound to happen sooner or later. At least I didn't go far. My house is built. My adorable little house. Now time to get some iron. Retrieve the rest of that coal first, because coal is awesome. Now we dig deeper. And deeper and deeper. And we don't find iron. We find a surprise. And this early in the game, I'm not ready to tackle a mine shaft, so I'm just going to turn left. And dig farther and farther down this corridor and grow more and more frustrated and not find any iron. So, day two of the search for iron. This time we're going to go and turn right. Oh, what have we here? A cave. Let us explore a little. It's full of lots of ominous dark shadows. But is it full of iron? Aha! Some iron. At long last, two whole pieces. But it's a start. Alright, let's look around. More iron. Things are looking up. And let's see what's down here. Uh-oh. Do I run or fight? Run or fight? Unfortunately, I kind of tried to do both, and the skeleton made the decision for me. Also, I'm used to 1.8 mechanics for fighting, so I still spam the sword. But it worked. Hopefully nothing else is lurking in those shadows down there. Let's check to be sure. Uh, no. 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 Yay! Iron! Iron is shears. Iron is a bucket. Iron is 
a good pickaxe, a bucket means not only safe mining, but a nice farm for wheat. And shears mean wool, which means a bed. Which means a night of luxury. Yeah. All right, speaking of sheep, amongst other things, time for the next project. So, we lure them in. For all I know, this is the same sheep I got the bed wool off of. She's married now. Aw, oh, look at the baby. All right, on to cows and chickens. Okay, so now I have been looking at this hill with great interest ever since I spawned because I do have a purpose for this season, so to speak. I don't intend to just uh, survive out here. That would be a relatively boring show. I intend to build. This valley would be good for an iron farm. And I already have a plan in mind for it. I'll get to that soon. And this area back here behind the woods is nice and spacious and has room for lots of inhabitants, so to speak. I could build a nice structure out here for the other thing I'm planning. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'll explain my plans in detail later on in the episode. Alright, back into the mines. We're not looking for iron this time, though if we find it, cool. Oh no, 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 no. Bad spider. Bad spider. Well, at least there was only one. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, okay. So to find my prize, you have to dig deeper than we've looked before. Ah! We're starting off strong. Found some redstone. Redstone's gonna come in handy later. We want to make some nice farms, so we're going to need a bit of it. Whoa. Huh. Well, I just learned something new about lava and water. That's kind of cool. I uh, guess I'll go that way. All right, so what I'm searching for is right there on the ceiling. Awesome. First diamonds of the game. Always a happy moment. To quote a certain jewelry store commercial from my area, diamonds. Looks like we got four. That is a good start. You need five bare minimum. And now we got our fifth. With bonus gold. And some extra. And even more diamonds right after those. I am not complaining. Normally I am not this lucky. I got a little cold too. Won't complain. Plus we got enough iron for a full suit of armor. Sweet. That'll hopefully give the creepers a bit of pause before they try to blow me up. Probably won't, but... Oh well. <laughs> All right, here is the big board where we've plotted out our plans for this season. So we have three major projects. One is our giant tree base. It is literally going to be a base of operations over on that hill, the one I showed you earlier. And it's going to be fitted within a giant tree built all in survival. No pre-planning, nothing. It's going to have all kinds of amenities in it. 
Mass storage, enchantment table, potions. Maybe even a beacon if I can pull it off. I've never done a beacon in single player. That would be fun. So I've listed the materials that I'll need. Um, it's mostly just materials that I like to build with. I'm not entirely certain how it'll look yet. I'm still plotting it out in my head, so that list may change as I go. I uh, also have plotted out the farms that I'm going to need in order to uh, pull the uh, build off. That's down at the bottom. And most important amongst them is definitely the tree farm. We're going to need a lot of wood. All right, moving on. Project number two is the iron farm tree. That'll be in the valley I showed you. And that'll be an iron farm disguised in a tree. It's similar to one I built on a server. And it uses similar materials. Instead of the oak tree base, this one will be dark oak for contrast. Yes, that'll require finding a roofed forest. And it'll also require finding an NPC village and breeding up some villagers. Third is our mob zoo. And that'll be over in that plains near the desert that I showed you. It'll contain all of the hostile and benign overworld mobs that I can get my hands on. And it'll be built out of similar materials as the uh, tree base. It um, is going to have a nice verdant, almost jungly theme to it. I'm inspired by the jungle nearby. Oh, it got late. Bedtime. Okay, so on the side of my big board, I've got a little to-do list here. First on it is to pinpoint the exact location where the tree base is going to be. And second on it is to build a mass storage unit for materials that I'm going to need. So those two things, I think, can be accomplished. First, we're going to go find our exact location for our tree base. So we're up on our hill again, scouting around getting a feel for where the exact center might happen to be. This takes a minute because it's not exactly a perfect circle, but oh well. Tree roots aren't either. Oh, we got a convenient pumpkin in our inventory to serve as a marker. And we pick a spot. And there we go. That should make a good center. Minimal digging. And it's labeled. Awesome. Task one, done. Now task two. Mass storage unit. It's essentially going to be a giant shed. It's going to be, ironically, made out of wood, considering it's mostly going to be storing wood. Because I figure... If I run low on materials, I can always rip it down. It essentially serves as a way of storing wood. When you think about it, it's not OSHA compliant. And it requires lots and lots of wood to build. Lots and lots and lots of wood. And I'm pretty much devastating the countryside to get wood. And we're going to have some stone. So we're smelting some cobblestone. These kind of simple smelters are actually the very first redstone device that I ever learned how to create. So I'm fond of them. All right. Some stone is cooked. Now to convert it up. And start working on details for our shed. Cobblestone floor. Stone brick stairs for a roof. And the interior must not be forgotten. We need storage chests. Lots and lots of storage chests. Which requires, you guessed it, more wood. In the meantime, a neighbor came to visit at one point. Unfortunately, I wasn't accepting visitors at that time, so I had to uh, drop some subtle hints to the neighbor. He was pretty persistent, but we worked it out.
I need a bow and arrow. But that worked in the meanwhile. All right, so all of these storage chests also need signs so that you can tell what's in them. It wouldn't be very organized otherwise. So, time to make lots of signs with more wood. And label things. And apparently I can't spell the day that I filmed this. Oh well. Some natural lighting on the upper level. Finish up the roof. And the storage shed is done. Heck, it's nicer than my house. It will hopefully serve well for this upcoming very large project. It's right near the hill, and it's got lots of room for wood, leaves, and all the other amenities. As you can see, came out pretty nicely, if I do say so. So we can tick two items off of our to-do list now. We have located exactly where we want to put the center of the tree base, and we have built a mass storage unit where we can start putting all of the materials that we're going to need to build the main base. So now we can start looking towards the next episodes where we're going to start filling it up, working on um, acquiring materials. So that's the end of this episode. And it was a pretty basic episode. It's just getting the start in a survival Minecraft. Hopefully you'll keep watching and enjoy watching me as things flesh out. And I look forward to enjoying this experience with you. I look forward to seeing how things come out. So thanks for watching and take care. Bye. Eva. Eva.